So guys, I'm going to be showing you how I made this bow because some of you said you would like to see how I made the bow on her dress. And this bow can be attached even at the back of the dress too. So to make this bow, the materials you will need is your tool, your crinoline, and um, your trimming. Any trimming of your choice is fine. This is the exact trimming I used. You can see exactly the same thing I used. So, and um, you need your sewing machine to sew this. So first of all, I'll be starting by um, starting off by cutting my crinoline. I'll be cutting twenty three inches of crinoline. So I'll be using this light spin. So I'm just going to measure. You can see that this bow is in three places. So, and another secret I'm going to tell you is not because you are using um, pink nets, you must use pink crinoline. Actually, this is not even blue. There's, it's not blue crinoline that is inside. It is white crinoline. So for brighter fabrics, you can get away with using um, white crinoline inside your tool. And then for darker um, fabrics, you can get away with black crinoline. So even if you don't see the color of your tool in the market, you don't have to bother. Just if your fabric is light, if you are working with a light tool, just go with white. It will work because this one right here is white. All you need to do when you are making it is double your tool. I'm going to show you how. So I'm going to cut out 23 inches. That was the um, length I used. So I'm going to cut 23 inches into three places. So I'm just going to measure 23. I fold and I cut. Measure another 23. And cut. And mind you, my crinoline is not the hard one. Measure another 23 and cut. Now I'm going to set this aside. Now we have this one. So now we're going to open up our tool. This my tool is 6 inches in width. I normally buy it from AliExpress. You know, you can... I don't know. That's where I buy it from. I don't know another place where you can get it. So, because I am using pink crinoline, I can get away with, you see this one, I'm just going to fold it inside. I'm just going to stitch it. I can get away with it, just using the pink like that. But, if I was using um, crinoline, white crinoline, because I don't want it to show, um, because my tool is just 6 inches width, when I fold it into two, it becomes three inches. If you have a wider two, just measure instead of six inches width, you can measure 12 inches so that you can fold it twice. So, but because mine is like this, I'm going to, if I was using white, I'm not going to do mine like this. If I was using white, I will measure, you now I measure 23 inches for one crinoline. So I'm going to double it so it will be 46 inches. When it's 46 inches, all I need to do is fold it into two like so. Once it's into two, I open it up and then I'll fold it. So now because mine is the same color, I'm just going to measure exactly, almost exactly the length. So I'm still going to measure this into three places because I've cut out three pieces of crinoline. So now we have our two ready. I'm going to go ahead and run it with half an inch because I need to turn it out. I will run it with half an inch and turn it out. So, so guys, I'm done sewing it. So all you need to do is turn it out. So that's it. So now we're going to insert the crinoline. So this is the crinoline. I'm going to bend it like so. Like bend it into two. And I'm going to push it inside. Now I'm going to use my scissors to push the middle inside. 
so now i'm going to do the same for the other three i've already done that as you can see so the joining line will be facing you it will be right side that's the side that doesn't have joining facing the side that doesn't have joining okay so the joining side now the side that have the stitch line is facing me so now i'm going to join it and when i'm joining it make sure it's the crinoline you are joining together you will do the same for the three three of them the three and stripes that you have cut out so i'm done sewing it like joining it together so i'm just going to turn it like so now you are going to determine the middle you can choose to measure it but i already know i can determine where the middle is with my eye so next thing is you are going to join them separately like so so just take your needle So now once you are done doing this, you are just going to step them together. I'm going to step it like so. You can see the way I'm putting it. Not on top of each other, just side by side. Like so. Now once you have this, you need to take your applique, I already got this applique, it's supposed to be wider than this. Okay, I have the wider one here. So now I'm just going to measure what I need in the applique and cut it out. Or rather trim it, no I'm calling it applique. I'm going to tack it with my needle and thread. So once you do this, the bow is ready. So this was basically how I made the bow for her dress. If you, you see like right now the edges are like puffy. If you don't want it to have this like curved shape, you can see has us flattened down. All you need to do is use iron to press it. Also use iron to press it. So thank you so much for watching. If you are yet to subscribe, please subscribe to my channel. Turn on the bell icon so you'll be notified anytime I post a video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.